Hello magicians and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's weekly update from my webcam to yours. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Witecki. Welcome back. We are working on the Virgo state of awareness, which if you don't know is the opposite consciousness as you. Pisces are God consciousness, Virgo consciousness is reality. This is the month where in a way it's very Piscean because you're working on the opposite side of you, the reality of you. When you're a Pisces, you are a God service provider. That's the tribe you belong to, which means you really wander around the planet connecting people to God, much like a wireless service provider, right? And you know each case is a special case, and that's what we count on you to do. No one understands it. I understand it. God understands it. And uh, it is time to do some shifting this month because you are working on your long-term relationships. We're working on the green energy. What's the green energy? It's the IB energy. I love an IB or green, just like chlorophyll, just like everything that creates oxygen on the planet. We breathe love in and out. And uh, it's interesting that green plants create uh, oxygen that we breathe in and out. Very interesting. But for a Pisces, uh, this comes down to how you relate. All right, you use Virgo nit nitpicky energy of Virgo to relate to others. First to yourself and your marriage, then to others in marriages, and this is your overall sense of balance in life. So this month you're working on how to connect to yourself, and this particular week you're working on the live part, how you live in yourself. So we're working on the marriage this particular uh, moment. Over the weekend, we had some breakdown in relationships, balance, mirages, or whatever. That's what it was over the week weekend. That's because Uranus ruled the day on Sunday. And so anything that would have been uh, based on a poor sense of inner balance, because we're really working on the mirage, might have broken down. How you balance or don't balance. So not fun. On Monday, it's a cloudy day, but it's socially focused for you. The moon in Capricorn pulls your feelings to uh, your social life and your sphere of influence. So it's possible that your mirage breakdown was with a friend also. There might have been a ricochet to a friend. You let yourself down, you let a friend down or that sort of thing. On Monday, you're kind of licking our wounds. We're all licking our wounds and we're trying to figure out what happened. We call that the breakthrough moment or trying to get to the breakthrough. The planets are in a bit of a stalemate. That's also part of the problem. In fact, at one point on Monday, the moon will oppose Venus. So this will be a tug of war between what your inner child wants and what you feel like you should be doing out in society. So it's your, you know, your role in the world versus your inner child's desire. And Venus is trying to help you actually receive more love, more joy, and that's certainly what has to happen. But perhaps something in society is in the way. That's a bit of the conflict. And there at the tip of that triangle there, you see Saturn in Libra. This is the critical week, Pisces, as I say in the Act 3 videos, to make a decision about commitment. And the commitment in this Saturn triangle is to a certain boundary procedure. Boundaries are where all the responsibility lie for Pisces right now. If you don't draw boundaries with yourself, you'll be in big trouble. In fact, maybe the problem with your mirage is that you aren't being responsible to yourself and drawing the appropriate boundaries. Maybe you aren't releasing other boundaries, letting go of stubborn sides of yourself. And you know, Pisces can be stubborn sometimes with boundaries because everything else in life seems to be moving. Well, there is a point where we have to even move everything and that's where we are right now and Monday if you're feeling really stuck it's probably because you're feeling the effects of that. On Tuesday things do open up but it gets cloudy. The moon moves into Aquarius so emotions shift for you into the subconscious so you're cloudy, you're spiritual, you are emotionally focused on the past or your deep karma, you know what you do best frankly but on the outside you're looking a little cloudy to everyone. Venus rolls a day so it is time to restore balance and order and for you that means restoring balance and order in your mirage so making yourself happy again and probably starting to put out some sort of fire in marriages who you find yourself tied to or anchored to is a better term for Pisces right now in life. So uh, you are starting to realize what it will take at least to cause that peace. The planets have blessed us with a yod, which is really nice. A yod is God giving us the finger, in this case, pointing straight to your relationship, saying, bring peace to your relationships on Tuesday, Pisces, starting with your mirage. But what allows you to do it is this yod. The moon up in Aquarius is your inner faith. So you have an inner faith. I mean, you are God's service provider, so you out of anyone ought to be able to get the operator on the phone, right? Well, that said, log into your operator. And then Uranus and Aries means you're going to have to evolve or innovate uh, the way you value yourself. Okay, so your pricing mechanism, your pricing gun needs to be changed. 
I don't know, up, down, I don't know, whatever it is. Maybe you need a pricing gun. You don't have one in the first place. Maybe you're giving it away, but it is a innovation of how you value yourself. It is an inner faith in yourself that allows you, says the odd, to restore balance and order on uh, on Tuesday. So fun day on Tuesday. Whoops, sorry about that. Bum, 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 bum. On Wednesday, Neptune rules the day. That's your kind of energy, so you're feeling pretty good. Sunny and clear. The moon is deep in your 12th house or in your subconscious, so your emotions are logged into God energy, and your sun is logged into God energy, so you are off the planet, man, maybe on your home planet or whatever. That's certainly how you're feeling. You feel clear, <laughs> but uh, the rest of us probably can't get a hold of you on that day, knowing you Pisces. And we've got an interesting grid of energy going on on Wednesday that I'm going to walk you through. This is really a pivotal week. That's why I'm taking so much time with the scopes, by the way, this week, and that's why they're running late, is because I wanted to do it correctly. Really, the energy begins with Pluto. It is time to allow an old way of seeing yourself in the world disconnect. Basically, God is reassigning God's service providers to new territories, and so you've got to let go of whatever part in society that you're holding on to and trust. Let go, let God, when it comes to where you belong, says Pluto in the seventh. The sun also at seven degrees, dead trining into this reality today, and you are feeling that truth of that you're going to have to move to a new place or be comfortable in a new area. You're feeling that truth in your relationships with the sun. At the same time, Mars and the sun are talking to each other today, and Mars is at a volatile degree saying it is time to draw some boundaries and some lines about what you believe and what you don't believe. Or maybe it's time to draw a boundary and say it's time for you to practice what you preach. But there's something in your overall belief structure or your lack of knowledge or your lack of using your knowledge that is uh, uh, basically uh, you know, compromising the flow of the energy. So until you are willing to act on changing what you believe, you're going to be stuck. Once you do change what you believe, check this out, that energy trines into Neptune, which means that you will have greater faith in yourself. Neptune is in your own sign, if you don't know. So that means that boost of energy will make your ego rise up. So, you know, to put it all together, in essence, you've got to let go of where you are today or where how you associate yourself. This will allow you to allow your God energy to flow in your relationships and restore balance. That means you're going to have to practice what you preach or learn to grow. But as soon as you do, you're going to feel wiser uh, with that Neptune uh, in the first house. Now, on Thursday, it gets a little more serious. You are sunny and cool. The moon moves into your sign through the course of the day. And Saturn ruling the day means it is time to make some decisions. In your case, you are deciding what you want to uh, step away from in long-term relationships, all right, or in your mirage, particularly. It starts in mirages. So how you're going to relate to yourself. I'm not going to let myself get caught up in the wrong relationship anymore. I'm not going to let myself marry someone I don't love, yada, yada, yada. That is your mirage promise to you. And then, of course, that promise will determine something going on in your marriage. And if you follow these clean lines here, you can kind of see how the energy flows. This is a gift I've always had to kind of feel how the energy is going to flow. From the decisions with the sun at 8 degrees, it's going to chime into that practicing what you preach energy in Mars, and that Martian energy is going to flow over to Neptune in your house of ego. But today, right before the full moon, your emotions will cross that vulnerable point. Uh, let's take a look. As the moon crosses your home planet, uh, you're going to be coming out of a fog, really, through the day. And this is simultaneous with the strength to make a decision. So probably once the moon crosses over Neptune, you kind of just feel. You can feel that you know the right decision about where you're going to commit to or what you're going to cut away in your mirages. And that understanding of that feeling uh, is what's essential for you to move forward. But you want to make a decision by the end of this day. We have too much to get done in this particular uh, transit. Then what happens is uh, the moon will cross over Chiron, retrograde, which means that this event serves as a lifetime healing moment for you. That by taking this action, you are changing your lifetimes of the way you relate, and so, et cetera. So it's a powerful day because of Chiron. We're going to talk more about Chiron as things go on in the future. Interesting stuff. Okay, that's my Thursday. Then we get to Friday, and Friday is the full moon. I mean big full moon. I mean big swelling. Chance of arrogance. In fact, I'm going to say storms. Chance of conflict at first, because as that all that new confidence and inner faith and healing happens, the first thing it does is go super full in your house of ego, and that is, of course, opposing your long-term relationships and your mirages, right? And that's what a full moon is, as we all know. Uh, a full moon is an opposition, a tug of war with the earth in the center. So the sun represents your mirage and your relationships. Notice Mercury at zero degrees. Our mind is offline on this day. So we are kind of out of our minds. 
So be careful about that. We are out of our minds. And the Martian energy of the day says it's time to act. So it's time to act on all those Meerage promises you've been saying all week long. It's time to put in action. Now, the moon in Pisces on the opposite side is really kind of beating your chest. I mean, this is emotional focus that makes your ego feel strong. It's meant to give you the strength to move forward with where you need to move. It's not meant to create conflict in your long-term relationships. And therein lies uh, the potential danger of what Friday will be, is that there could be conflict. Once you do find your right position, you'll find that that energy trines right into your inner child. So it empowers your inner child with this moon trining Venus uh, to take these actions and release what's in the way of you being there for your mirage first and not going too far with the moon and Neptune in your sign. So it's a delicate balance and you know one that God's service providers, I'm sure, are ready to handle. On Saturn Day, we squat and hold space. So whatever you were uh, claiming to step away from in your mirages, Saturday you just squat and hold space. Cloudy but cool is my prediction for the Pisces. Uh, and we're going to follow through too with a lot of the planetary energy on Saturday too. Now if you bought an Act 3 video, you're going to want to roll back. This is the weekend where uh, there is an anger Friday that was supposed to be August 31st. This is the weekend where we have to make our final decisions. In your case, you must decide where your boundaries lie. Let's take a closer look at the planets. See all these beautiful lines? First starts with these decisions. The decisions deal with Mars and Saturn right there. This is the weekend where you must decide, Pisces, where your boundaries lie. Probably boundaries with yourself, but these are overall grand policies. Who you sleep with, who you don't sleep with, who you let in, who you don't let in, letting go of your past all these types of boundaries every philosophy everywhere you've got to be responsible and toe the line until halloween that's what the act three videos are what these lines say is as you toe the line you are able to also practice what you preach and you uh, also feel greater and stronger at the same time this new faith that you just started to awaken over the weekend pours the other way too back into your ability to draw lines so faith brings you the strength to draw lines and take responsibilities and taking responsibilities to draw lines brings to faith thank you universe for that at the same time all those feelings of faith pour right down into your inner child with Venus there, and that's a good thing. But just so you know, you're going to feel some anxiety because Jupiter squaring the sun means all this transition stuff is very uh, disruptive. It may, may feel you f like, like a child, like a baby. That square means there's a lot of fears coming up about whether or not you're going to be okay through the change. And that's part of what Jupiter's doing is making you uh, be better at you know, taking care of yourself. Then on Sunday, it is IB day. It's IB day because it is 11 degrees in Virgo. 11 is the healing number. Virgo is the healing sign. It's like 11, 11. Uh, and it is sunny and very valued today. It's a very powerful day. It is a day where you really kind of begin the new long-term relationship approach, the new mirage approach. But because of all the planets and all the great changes and the fact that you're committing at the same time to a boundary structure, this is a new B, a new way of being. You are a God service provider. And if you are stepping into a new mirage, that means the way you relate to everyone is going to change. And once you change the way you relate to everyone, then everything in your life will change because you're God's service providers. The universe also tops it off with a yod on Sunday from Mars and the sun at that beautiful 11 into the moon crossing Uranus. So what this says is take those Take that new belief structure that you are practicing now. Take this new mirage approach, which turns into your, all your marriage approaches, and channel that into feeling more valuable. Innovate your self-esteem. Bring your self-esteem to the point of these changes. So this is now ground zero, and this is you feeling better, feeling more valuable, and that, of course, sets you up for some profound ability to manifest, including abundance, for those of you who are worried. Whoops, sorry about that. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, so on Sunday, it is an IB day, sunny, very valued and I'm looking forward to being a new me myself. All right, my Pisces, this is a long one, but it was worth it. Thanks for the wait. I know we went out late, but I want to do it right. I'll see you in seven days with more. Good luck with all of that. Until then, live, love, be. Thank you.